What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am at my father's house and I have a bunch of stuff in the bed of my truck to unload. If you saw the last video, then you know that I took a trip up to Vermont and I picked up all this stuff that I have on the trailer here. So I got back here pretty late and it was dark out. So I decided to leave all this stuff in the bed of my truck and I'm going to unload it now. But basically all this is, is everything you need for a plow setup. This is the hydraulic tank. You got your arms, your, all your hoses and stuff, your cab controls, and then all your plows and your plow frame and everything is all over here. So I have to get all this stuff unloaded and then head down to my shop. And there is, they're saying snow and ice tomorrow. I don't think it's going to snow. I think it's just going to rain and then it's going to freeze because the temperatures are going to be like in the twenties or below. So we're probably going to be getting ready for that to happen and just doing last minute prep stuff. So let me get this unloaded and then we will head down to my shop. All right guys, so I made it to my shop. We have quite a few things going on first. We got a salt delivery, which is why there's a bunch of salt outside, but we put these here. We had these made so that the salt doesn't get on the block and eat away at it. But as you can see, we have a decent amount of salt in here. We're not full. We have quite some room here to fill it up, but this will have to get cleaned up today and then we got our pickup truck back that had diesel put in it. So they took care of that and the guy who picked it up said it is running great. So that is a good thing. And the last thing that we're working on right now is this Chevy here has a nice bubble in the tire there. Both tires actually, this one has a little one and that one has quite a big one. So we have a spare tire here and we have another spare tire up there that we are about to pull down and get these swapped. But this truck is brand new. Rodrigo, how many miles are on this truck? 15. 15,000 miles? Yeah, 15,000 <laughs> miles and two tires have bubbles in them. So it sucks, but let's uh, get this other tire down and get these switched. guys so we have the spare tires mounted on here they are just two extra tires that we had up on our shelf here so we will use those to get through the next couple days we have the old ones over here so as you can see where's the bubble maybe it's on the side uh, where the hell's the bubble oh down there and then this one is right there so obviously no good but we have two new tires ordered they should be here next week and we will get them mounted and back on this truck and throw the spares back up there rodrigo is cleaning this pickup truck real quick and we are about to take a lunch break but also our other guy clever that just walked by me was working on this salt out here oh we got rain on here he was working on getting this salt shoveled up. All right, so we got all the salt cleaned up here. As you can see, there is no more outside and nothing down in there. So these work really good. 
to keep the concrete clean. So this is all in here. We got Rodrigo and Clever cleaning trucks. They're about to wash this one and they have another one in the shop over here because they just washed it and they're cleaning the inside of it. I am about to find a home for this tank, these tanks, and the battery box that we've been working on. I think I'm gonna move the lights that are up there and put it on that pallet. And then I need to move these over here. So I have a bit of stuff that I need to move out of the way because the salt pallets go back here up against that plywood. All right guys, so I got this whole pallet back here and we took the couple that were on the other pallet and stacked them all on this. The rebar down here was a little bit too close to the wall so I just put some four by fours underneath it and put the pallet right on them. Um, I also got these air tanks up here, I moved the light over on top of the compressor there, so I had room. And I put the plow back over there, so a little bit more space in the shop here. Not anything crazy, but it's more than what we're used to. The shop is always packed full of stuff. Alright guys, so I got everything loaded up in the bed of my truck. Glover is just washing it real quick for me. And then I am heading upstate to our other yard because I have a hydraulic hose for one of the plows up there that blew on the red mason dump that we have there. So they pulled a hose off another plow to get through the storm, but I'm gonna drop this off there. That way if something happens, they have this one. And that should pretty much wrap it up for today. Tomorrow there is a rain slash snow slash ice storm. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to come in early, but temperatures look like they'll be high in the morning and then in the afternoon they're gonna drop down. So we're most likely gonna have to go out and salt everything because once the temperatures drop, it'll all turn into a sheet of ice. But hopefully it's not too bad. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a comment down below. If you didn't, 
Leave a comment anyway. I hope you did though. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.